Hi and welcome to Esky's World. Um, today I'm doing a video for my colouring in group, colouring in with friends. And what we're doing today is, what I'll be doing today is, can you see that, this flower? How I coloured it in with the yellow and the orange and using Vaseline to blend with. And the middle bit was nothing fancy, that was just a copper pencil. So I will be using this yellow pencil, um, Micro Refine, and this orange pencil, Micro Refine, and that's 506, and this is 504. And just in case you wondered, the centre of the flower was this copper one, which I can't say the name of, but can you see that there? Uh no doesn't really go with the light but anyway I got it from eBay it's quite oh there you go it's a fiber crystal one can you see that no anyway got it off eBay singularly and also Vaseline and then a cotton bud to be blended and obviously I've already used it because of doing the first flower so anyway let's get on with the coloring Right, so here we go. First I take, where's my cotton bud gone? Sorry, I was missing that. Anyway, first I start with the orange and I just dip it in there, get some out there and then I'll just put it on the back of my hand like so. And then I just get a little bit on the end of the nib yeah there and then for these ones I just do these lines on the inside in orange like so Okay, there's one line down, and then we do this line on the inside with orange. Just get a little, little bit more there on the nib. See? Here we go, there's that one. Now we go around the outside with the yellow, just get a little bit on the nib there. Oh, we can't see. There we go. We go and then we go around the outside of the petal with the yellow. a little bit more then you get your cotton bud I'll use the other end this time and you just rub over like that and There you go. And don't worry about going over the lines because it's all blended in anyway and it all sorts itself out in the end. And often like here, around where it's on her top, where it go, it just might smudge on the outside. Where I'm going to be colouring in this, the darker colour anyway, it's going to cover that up. So it's not a problem. That's a good thing about colouring in. Often things can be covered up or easily easily fixed. You don't have to worry too much. Or if you get too stressed and you feel you can't fix it, 
<laughs> like me the other day I got in the mood and just ripped it up didn't really solve much but it made me feel a bit better go and then the orange again on the inside lines actually no that's just one inside line so but like I say it doesn't really matter so then you get your cotton bud and blend it in and what I like to do with these petals that I haven't got any um lines in see just get in a bit more and there I like to do halfway orange and then halfway yellow and then just smooth it over like that oh my back and then again And it doesn't have to be that accurate or neat because it all gets blend blended in and smudged in together anyway. so I'll come back and show you this finished in a sec right I accidentally recorded my last little bit which was colouring in these last three petals in slow motion um, so it turned like a very short video into a 20 minute video which no one really wants to see plus I was talking the whole way through so my voice would have sounded really distorted and funny and you don't want to hear that so anyway as I was saying like where it's smudged out the edge here it doesn't matter because I'm going to go over that with a darker colour also on my leaves I used a green eyeshadow to colour them in and then a green pencil just to go over the line to make it stand out but where it's just smudged over a little bit here I'll get my green eyeshadow and just dab a little bit on top to cover it up the same with the blue sky bits there so you know there's no real mistakes in colouring because everything's easily corrected and you know can be made to look good even I can do it so anyway there's a close-up of the finished flower and here's one I made earlier hi so this video is made for all my awesome friends in my Facebook group colouring in with friends um, so if you like colouring then feel free to find us on Facebook and join us that's colouring in with friends um, if you've liked this video then give me a thumbs up also hit that button down below and subscribe um, and let me know if 
in co in the comments if there's any other colouring in techniques you would like to see me do or try. Um, comment below and I will see about doing a video on that. So please do share this video with all your awesome friends so they can either join the colouring in group, um, colouring in with friends or just um, have a bit of fun. Anyway, have an awesome day everybody.